Hey, it's Mike again with the 61 uh, Beetle. Like or subscribe uh, if you want to help me get to a thousand. Okay, I had a very frustrating experience with the pins. I did finally get them out. So if you look here, here's the pin. Um, this is where the, um, the mirror has to go, so I need the pins for that. But you can see what I did here. I, I damaged this, but I had first damaged it with the penetrating oil. And then what I had gotten was this... Um, this tool, which is absolutely essential. There's no way I would have gotten the pins out without this tool. Um, so basically, you take this thing, you stick it over top, and then you have to torque down this bolt. And the only way that I could torque down the bolt was using this, which was a swivel on a ratchet. And, uh, you know, this particular one is a, is a one half. And then you, when you put it on here and you start tightening it down, this thing gets closer and closer to the door due to the angle. And if you didn't already have that ratchet in there, it wasn't gonna um, be, be able to be put on. So basically, you know, I, I had already messed up this paint job with, the, um, with that penetrating oil. Now I've messed up the paint job even more by taking out the, uh, pins but the reality is is the pins are out and i'll be able to put on these mirrors tomorrow the uh, new pins arrive so i will take these doors off and now i have a little door paint door repaint uh area here that i'm gonna just you know i'm just gonna sand it down i have sandpaper i'm gonna sand this down and uh, get these doors looking better. Um, so the other thing, you know, other than the pins, um, I got, so there was, there, there was felt on here. Um, these little square patches of felt. What I did is I got some sticker felt. It's just two round things of, of felt, put them on there. And I notice here that once I get that on there, it puts this right in the middle of the hole and the felt is here and, uh, it, it, reduces the friction or or the it'll never hit the um metal there so that's good um so i have that um i did let's see i i need to wire up my those the gauges that i've got but um other than that you know this uh this seems great oops <laughs> now the door will come out the hinge comes out so yeah uh Got to be a little careful now um, until I get the uh, hinges tomorrow put back in. So that's the progress. Um, I will repair the doors and uh, tomorrow I'll put the hinges in and then I'll be able to put those mirrors on. I think it's going to look great. It's just uh, frustrating that I didn't put on, that I didn't remove the hinge pins before I did all the paint job. I just did not know that the hinge pins would be so difficult to come out. You know, when you deal with house doors, you can pretty easily pound up the hinge pin, and, but these VW hinge pins are just in there, uh, really, really tight. There's like a, you can see there, there's like a little ridged area at the top and you really have to get out that first three quarters of an inch and then you can, uh, then you can vice grip it and pound it up and it comes out pretty easily. But look at how messed up this is now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the door off, leaving this top part in. I'm going to sand this and sand this, tape this all off, and then I'm going to get a little bit of paint on the body where I've wrecked it. And I'm going to set both doors out here onto this uh, cardboard area and kind of sand them down. Hopefully I can, you know, I'll set them down on the inside and hopefully... Um, I can put some padding down or something which is going to prevent the uh, inside of the door from getting scuffed up too badly, you know, where it would rest. Um, so, uh, yeah, work and rework. Uh, but I think that uh, overall, you know, overall the bug looks great. Um, I ordered a couple of things. I ordered uh, from Kafer Lab the... Uh, um, seat belt mounts that bolt through the um 
bolt through the floor pan. So I have to figure that one out. Um, it, ha it has, you know, those large uh, bolts. And then down there, there's bolts for seat belts except for the floor pan. So the floor pan's back behind the seat. I've got to uh, put those in and figure out how that's exactly going to go. I also ordered from Kafer Lab the little thumb pull here because sometimes I push this and it doesn't actually come out. So there's a little pull that you can put right around this, right under, and you just kind of can pull that. So I've got that coming. I've got the knobs for the sapphire. They're coming. They're black rubberized versions of these. And then the uh, silver ones that go on the outside. I've got a leather um, steering wheel cover that I'm going to put on. And uh, what else? You know, mechanically, the motor is working great, super fast. The, um, the gauges I need, because as I'm driving, I'm always wondering what's the temperature, what's the RPM, what's the oil pressure, and et cetera. So, you know, um, also, I was wondering if there's a light on the fuel gauge. There's no light. I drove it at night, and the lights work great on the um, speedometer. I also, I need to order a green, uh, what do you call it? A green, like transparency thing, cellophane, green cellophane. Pull out this um, speedometer and just glue on the green cellophane where the turn signal indicator is. Um, you know, just some weird, weirdness like this is sticking up a little too far. I can push that down. The rest of the gap over here looks great. All right, well, that's it for now. All right, well, with my hinge pin fiasco, you can see this is what I've had to do. Tape this off. Uh, I've primed this and I'm repainting this. You can see that it's not really that pretty. I have the same situation on the other side. Uh, here I even have a little bit of a paint chip that it's just kind of trying to glue in with the primer. I don't know. Um, so... You know, that'll turn back Lotus White doors. That's another story. Um, basically, that uh, penetrating oil has put kind of divots into the finish there a little bit, and I sanded it down, but you can still see it. And then the splatter had messed up some of this part of the door as well. So, and then over here, you can see, you know, I just have like a... Look at that, it just doesn't look very good anymore, but um, here at the bottom you can see, and here you can see that as well. But I'm gonna just go over this with uh, the Lotus White, and it'll at least, you know, I don't know, maybe I can wet sand that down a little bit to even it out just a little bit more. And then I can put these doors back on, and uh, tomorrow my, my uh, new hinge pins will come with the, uh, with the, the, the mirror installs. So, you know, just looking at what this is gonna look like here. It's gonna look like this. This on the hinge, this is on top of the hinge pin and from the front, it's gonna look like this. So I, you know, I think that this mirror looks great. Um, you know, some of this stuff here is just, it's just ugly, uh, but, you know, I just did not know that those hinge pins would be so hard to get out. So, this is the uh, situation, and I'm just going to try to solve it as best I can. This, I just, I don't like that. I'm going to have to look at that. 